The screen recorder is a tool that was actually built into QuickTime Player. It actually comes built into our software, so we're able to record our screen with sound for free. So let's discuss how to screen record, how to screen record with audio, and how to make these videos and do a demo on our Mac. The screen recorder is a tool that I use for literally every tutorial that I put out. We're using it right now as well. Because it's been such a reliable tool for me, I wanna share it with you. I'm gonna share with you a few extra secret tips for your screen recordings that you typically don't find elsewhere. So as I mentioned, the screen recorder is built into QuickTime Player. Now, a QuickTime Player comes with every Mac. If you don't have the QuickTime Player built into your software, I would highly recommend going to their website right now and downloading it. Okay, now that you have QuickTime Player, Let's open it. Now, I typically open programs by hitting command and then pressing the space bar. And I type in the name of the program, so QuickTime. And then I double click. You'll know it's open when it says QuickTime in the top left of your screen. So let's hover up to file, and we have three different options here. We have new movie recording, which is your webcam and your audio, just audio recording, or new screen recording. Obviously, that's what we're looking for. So we're gonna click on that. Now, I'm just gonna hit escape really quick because we can do this a faster way. All we have to do is hit Command Shift 5 and it jumps us right to that screen. Now this appearance may vary depending on your OS version or the method of opening QuickTime. You're either gonna have a few icons on the bottom of your screen or you're gonna have a black bar with a red dot. Either way, we're gonna discuss both. The three icons on the left side are for screen captures, AKA screen grabs or screenshots, which is just an image. You can take one of those and it will directly save to your desktop for you to use. Super helpful also if you didn't know that already. Now the two icons on the right, however, these are for video recording. The left icon is for recording your entire screen and the right icon is for recording a selected portion of your screen. I'm gonna click on record selected portion because I wanna show you something. As we click on that, we have our cropped box appear on our screen. Now, if you notice, when we click and we drag, it actually shows the dimensions of our video, which is very important for aspect ratios. Now, beside the icons, we have a box that says options. If you're using the alternative version of the screen recorder, there won't be the word options, but you will see this little drop down arrow. So let's click on that arrow or our options box. Here we obviously have a few different options. We can choose where we are going to be saving this recording. We can set a timer for it to count down and start recording. And then we have our microphone. This is how we screen record with sound. So as you can see, you have no microphone, you have your built-in microphone, and I have some other third-party apps. Below that we have show floating thumbnail, which is the floating thumbnail that appears in the bottom right of your screen after you've recorded it. It has remember last selection. So if you have like a certain portion selected, you can turn that on and it will always go back to that crop for you, which is pretty convenient. And you have show mouse clicks. Now to humor you, I will turn on show mouse clicks for this one. It essentially puts a circle around your mouse as you're clicking. You don't notice it as you're recording, but when the recording's done, you can definitely see it. So with all of our options through, we can click on record entire screen and let's just click on our screen. And now we're recording. You'll know that we're recording if you can see the stop icon in the top right of your screen. And that's obviously where we're gonna stop our recording. Or you can do the command shift five again and pull it up, or you can type in QuickTime and stop the recording there but I like this little icon, it's a lot faster. And if you had the floating thumbnail, it's gonna appear in the bottom corner. If not, it's just gonna pop up right in the middle of your screen. This is our recording. And again, we have a few different options of what we wanna do now. So we can exit out of this and it's just gonna automatically save our recording to our desktop or wherever we had selected, or we can go to file save and we can rename it and we can choose where we wanna save it to. Now let me give you a major hack that has saved a ton of storage space on my computer as well as helped my editing flow and just the ability to share and edit these files. There's actually a built-in compressor for QuickTime as well. What we can do is we can go to file and we can choose export as. And here we can export this as a 4K video file and this will create a high quality compressed version of what we just recorded. Now you don't necessarily have to decide this right now. If you wanna be safe, you can just save it the way that it is right now and then you can open it later in QuickTime and export it. It's actually just a compressor that you can use for most of your video files anyway. Super handy, I use it all the time. And one last thing I wanna mention is unfortunately, this software does not record the audio that's coming through our computers. So if we're watching something or if we're playing music or some sort of game in our computer, it's not gonna record that audio for us, unfortunately. That's gonna require a third-party app or plugin. And that's a completely different video on its own. This is just like the most effective reliable way that I've been using over the last two years and it's been a major blessing for me. So I hope you learned something today. I hope this was very helpful to you. If it was, smash that subscribe button if you haven't yet and I'll see you in the next video.